Okay. Now we come to Bernoulli trials and binomial distribution. Okay. Bernoulli trials and binomial distribution. First of all, we should understand what a Bernoulli trial is. Okay. Something is called a Bernoulli trial when it satisfies the four conditions. Okay. An experiment is said to be a Bernoulli trial if the following are satisfied, if it has the following, the following conditions are satisfied. The first thing is that there should be a finite number of trials. The first thing, finite number of trials. Second is that it should have only two outcomes, success and failure. Okay. Should have only two outcomes, success or failure. Third, okay. the probability of success and failure should always remain the same. Okay. not necessarily not necessarily 1 by 2 1 by 2 but whatever it is it should remain the same if it is 1 by 3 2 by 3 it should remain the same it should remain the same means in every throw so for example you are you are throwing a dice okay and say getting an even number is a success for you then then the then the probability of getting an even number is always half and it should remain so okay so the probability of of the probability of success should be the same so failure will also be the same in each trial and and the the trials should be independent of each other Okay. So, for example, you pick up a pick up a dice and throw it, then it is absolutely independent of what you got earlier, right? Say getting getting an even is absolutely independent of whatever you got earlier. You got an odd or whatever, that does not matter. Okay. So it should be the trial should be the probability of success remains the same. Oh sorry, the, the trial should be independent of each other, independent of each other. Okay. They should be independent of each other. If something, okay, if any trial of an experiment okay, satisfies that. Hmm? No, I should say a trial of an hmm. 
okay so so experiment may be throwing the dice and each act of throwing is a trial right every time that you throw is a trial why we are studying it as an absolute separate uh, this thing it will be soon clear when we understand and read the uh, the binomial the binomial distribution okay but this category of probability occurs a lot that is number 1 number 2 it has got a very mechanical way of being solved a very mechanical way and those things that we did getting a doublet and not getting a doublet that will be seem so much easier we did those n d d okay n d d d n d and d d n so so you will not have to even think about what is happening it will start happening just automatically by by the formula okay so so uh, let us do an example six balls are drawn successively from an urn containing seven red and nine black balls tell whether the trials are bernoulli trials when after each draw the balls are replaced and they are not replaced okay six balls are drawn from an urn that contains seven red and nine black balls tell whether the trials of drawing the balls are bernoulli trials when they are replaced and when they are not replaced see maybe getting a red ball may be defined as a success and getting a black ball may be the failure uh, it's not success and failure as as we define it right okay so success is whatever you have defined to be uh, acceptable to you kind of okay so so what happens they are saying if you replace the ball is it a bernoulli trial yes it is because the probability of drawing why there are finite if if you if you do finite number of trials and should uh, and how many trials will you be able to do 16, 16. only right uh, no please you'll have to limit your trials 16 when you are not replacing it okay if you are and when you are not replacing it it is not a bernoulli trial why because the probability keeps on changing every time suppose you have drawn a red ball then the probability of drawing the red ball in the next becomes less okay same with the black ball okay and also they are not independent if you draw a red ball then the next probability of drawing the red ball is something else and if you draw the black ball it is something else correct so so it does not may finite number of trials may be but should have uh, it has two outcomes red or black but but the probability of success and uh, is not the same and also also the trials are not independent of each other right so that's why this is not a bernoulli trial if you do not replace it but if you replace it it is a bernoulli trial okay if you replace it it does become a bernoulli trial right